Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Ragnar Arthur Granit, born October 30, 1900, Helsinki, Finland, died March 12, 1991, Stockholm, Sweden, Finnish born Swedish physiologist who was a co recipient with George Walden Haldan Hartline of the 1967 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine for his analysis of the internal electrical changes that take place when the eye is exposed to light. Granite received an MD degree from the University of Helsinki in 1927, after which he conducted research at the University of Pennsylvania and at the laboratory of Sir Charles Scott Sherrington at Oxford, England. He was appointed Professor of Physiology at the University of Helsinki in 1937. A naturalized Swede, Granite joined the medical school of the Karolinska Institute, Stockholm, in 1940. He was named chairman of the Institute's Department of Neurophysiology in 1946. A year earlier he had also become the director of the Nobel Institute for Neurophysiology in Stockholm. In the 20 years from 1956 to 1976 Granite also served as a visiting professor or researcher at numerous institutions. From studies of the action potentials in single fibers of the optic nerve, Granite formed his dominator modulator, theory of color vision. In this theory, he proposed that in addition to the three kinds of photosensitive cones, the color receptors in the retina, which respond to different portions of the light spectrum, some optic nerve fibers, dominators, are sensitive to the whole spectrum while others, modulators, respond to a narrow band of light wavelengths and are thus color-specific. Granite also proved that light could inhibit as well as stimulate impulses along the optic nerve. His book Sensory Mechanisms of the Retina, 1947, is a classic work in the field of retinal electrophysiology. Granite then turned his attention to the study of the control of movement, specifically the role of muscle sense organs called muscle spindles and tendon organs. He helped to determine the neural pathways and processes by which these internal receptors regulate and coordinate muscle action.